If children don't grow up knowing about nature and appreciating it, they will not understand it. And if they don't understand it, they won't protect it. In our first film, we looked at why schools use the outdoors for curricular learning. We know that the evidence is clear. Outdoor learning boosts attainment, increases engagement and improves health and well-being. In this film, we look at how to get outdoors from a view of don't do more, do different. So here at Desha School, they've got a fantastic environment around them uh, and I come and work with all the classes at perhaps once a month with each class. So I'm not here every week, um, I just facilitate with them once a month and then the teachers will build on that. We'll go off through the fields, there's a beautiful clearing in the woodlands, uh, just about 10 minutes walk away that we use as their woodland classroom. The thing for us that we feel is really an important part of this is the continuity. So we're coming back to the same place again and again. So it's just about building on that kind of safety and the risk assessment so that kids are doing that themselves and that they know what's expected. Um, and so they feel safe, I think, in this space, and then they're really able to explore. Um, and you see now from, from the way they're engaging in, in the woodlands, um, it's about allowing them time within that, the session um, to go off and, and actually use the environment in the way that they want to. Um, so we obviously have our planning for coming out here and what kind of our focus is going to be in terms of curriculum. Um, but also the other thing that we've done is we've filled out an Evolve, yeah. but we've done it for the whole year. So actually all the Wednesdays, because we're coming for the whole year, all the Wednesdays are covered. So we just did that one time. Um, so it hasn't been too onerous. The only thing that I suppose we've really had to think about is make sure that everyone has, you know, warm clothes, proper, you know, things, just the kind of practicalities. Um, it, the health and well-being for me is what underpins everything. So, you know, looking at those social interactions, you'll have seen when the children are here and as they walk to the, to the woodland areas, the way that they're just free and the way they speak and interact. Well, I think they love being outside for a start. They, they're very enthusiastic, they learn to touch things, feel things, examine things more than in the classroom. They just enjoy, they just enjoy being out, being in the fresh air. You know, looking at that attention and listen, listening span, that for me again has, has improved dramatically because the children are focused, um, the concentration level improves out here, um, and also children that are the more reluctant speakers, um, children that are, in, uh, are reluctant to interact socially, they're the ones that here, you know, they really just come into their own, and that is the magic for me. We see a lot of different behaviour outside. Mm. Um, we see people doing different things, using different materials, we see people um, playing differently. This week we've been looking at Halloween, we've been looking at the um, story of the room on the broom. So linking that with literacy, the children have had opportunities to make brooms from, from natural resources. We've had um, the children estimating, um, looking at the sizes of, of sticks. We've, we've had skills of, of tying knots. Um, so it's, it's about linking all of that and giving it breadth and depth in the learning, um, which is all part of the curriculum for excellence. Um, and again, it's very um, implicit learning, so it's, it's, it's making it discreet and the children have got opportunity to build on, on what they've been doing in the classroom. The main thing for me this year is that because I have such a small class, it's a really nice time for everyone to mix together. The older ones learn to um, react with the smaller ones and they learn to, with the confidence, they can make older friends. It's about making the most of everything we've got, um, even if it is just a, a concrete playground we've got, making the most of that, getting the children outdoors, um, giving them that, that wealth of opportunity and that inspiration to you know, go and play imaginatively and, and develop these skills. It's a kind of bigger issue as well, it's about saying actually what is here and what's on your doorstep. It's about making the connection for the kids so that actually this is what we're trying to ask you to take care of, so that they have that kind of concrete relationship with the place that they live in. And I've heard the kids come back to me and say, oh, I took grandma there, I took Uncle Fred there when he came to visit and we played our games and I showed him our shelter and I showed him all the things that we were doing. So they're taking that information back to their families. I really feel like I know them. I really feel I've got to know them individually um, just from the walks out to the forest and, and that level of interaction. As you can see, there is a variety of practice and approach, although all are from an evidence-based approach as well as teacher judgment. Sharing with colleagues from other schools about how they approach this is an excellent way of being inspired. There are schools across Scotland using spaces as varied as local parks, hotel grounds, beaches and woodland. 
It's rare for a school in Scotland not to have some green space within walking distance. The biggest thing is making the decision to actually go out there and give it a try. All the teachers um, that are involved in forest schools have a great time. They say it's the best part of their week um, and the children certainly have a great time too. I think just from day one we've seen the enormous impact it's made on these children so it, it, just do it. You know, you're never going to know what the pitfalls are unless you've experienced it and um, make the most, most of what's around you, what's on your doorstep. There are many resources and tools to help you get outdoors. There are links on the screen now and in the description to get you started. We suggest you start with the easiest first step. Take a satellite image map and take a walk with a colleague to explore the green spaces close to your school. Could you be using this space with your pupils soon and what will they be learning?